Nice. Yeah. Have you had a vasectomy? Yeah, I did. We both did. Okay, and this is your partner? Uh, yeah, he's my friend, yeah. He's my activist partner. But he's not your partner? No, like romantic partner? Yeah. No, I'm heterosexual. Okay, uh, if we all went and had vasectomies and we couldn't have babies, do you know the world would stop evolving? My daughter cannot have children, mm -hmm. and she would give anything for somebody that didn't have a vasectomy to have a baby mm -hmm. and give it to her. My daughter in law is a surrogate mother mm -hmm. for a couple here in Fort Worth that cannot have a child. Okay. So your publication is worded wrong. <laughs> it is very worded wrong. You know, there's also a lot of children in uh, really terrible situations I who would give anything for a judge. loving home. I am a judge and I know. So you know that the world's full of horror, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of fags. Uh, of what? Of fags, gay people. What's uh, wrong with gay people? I don't believe in gay people. I don't believe that the Bible uh, teaches us to gay people. Wait, you're a gay judge people. and you're against gay people? I am. I will not marry a gay couple. Uh, I do believe that the wording is wrong on your sign. It needs to say, your choice. Just like a girl, a woman has a choice of a girl and have an abortion. Don't have an abortion. Save that baby. Give it to somebody like Well, cho choice is already implied because we're not taking anyone's choice away. We're just holding signs. But um, what if you're, uh, you know, what if um, someone you're close to, like, you said you have children? I have children. Yeah, so what if they have a child who's gay? Uh, that would be their rights, not my rights. Right, but how would you it, treat them? So you would, family. would it's you, what, uh, homosexuality? Uh -huh. Homosexuality. So then do you treat family, the homosexuals different? As if he was everything, but I want him to go to heaven. So I just believe that he needs to change his ways so he can go to heaven. So you believe in heaven and hell? I do believe in heaven so. and hell, and if you don't, you better. But um, because Jesus is but you wouldn't want Jesus. anyone to go to hell, right? I don't want anybody to go to hell. Well, the only way to truly prevent someone from going to hell is to not bring them into the world in the first place. You're wrong. So You're wrong. why am I wrong? Because there are people in the world, it says, let's stop dumping our problems onto the future generation. There's future generations that can't have babies, that want babies. Like I say, my daughter-in-law is a surrogate mother, and my daughter can't have children. Well, you just deflected from my question. I said that no one can have the chance to go to hell unless they come in the world in the first place. And then you said, no, I'm wrong. But then you deflected. Well, you it's didn't. not their fault they came into the world. Well, exactly. We don't, we don't choose to come into the world. It's how you raise your children and how your children want to be raised. Well, there's way more than that. People are not just uh, products of how they were raised. It's way more complicated than that. It is. There's so why chant? Why God. put that risk onto others? All children are a child of God. Well, why put that risk onto others? As a Christian, you probably agree that um, there is a chance that when you create a soul through the act of procreation, that there's a chance that soul could uh, spend an eternity in hell because they might not accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Okay, so you're saying we're saving people from hell. Uh, if you don't procreate, you are preventing the would be the hell um, population from increasing. Exactly. I, wouldn't you agree that um, you, it is a gamble bringing someone here, and they're either going to go to heaven or hell, right? Yeah, my both of Wait, two of yeah, my yeah, they are going to go to heaven or hell. I believe that. Um, God gives us many moments and opportunities to accept Him, and we don't know how or when those end. Whether it's our last breath, that we don't know. Right. But I will tell you this, that I have two kids who struggled to have a child, spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, and they have a child, and they their life could not be more full. So well, Why couldn't they be fulfilled adopting a child, though? Okay, they could. But right. they, they tried to do everything they could first. Mm -hmm. So they never got to that point. And maybe when they look to have their second, they might have to. Why but is adoption the last resort? Why do you think people look at adoption as a last resort and not a they first? They don't. A lot of people choose not to, to have a baby. Whether no. it's medical reasons yeah. or whatever reason, they wanted to have a child because they believe in the, the foundation of um, a family. And they wanted well, to have no, a Well, no, what I'm asking is because they can have a foundation of a family by adopting. I get that. So I I'm asking that. you, why do you think it is that a lot of people uh, look at adoption as a last resort to create a family? Because they want someone that that they join together that is theirs. 
That seems a bit egoic to me. Yeah, it right. could be, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I have friends who've chosen to adopt yeah. and who love those children as their own right. because they are their own. But everyone's different and everyone chooses. Not everyone's going to believe that. Not everyone's going to believe this. Wait, um, can you name a unselfish and also ethical reason to procreate? Uh, can you name a reason to procreate that is both unselfish and ethical? Plenty. Okay. Plenty. Okay. I'm going to give my life to that child. I'm mm. going to do everything I can to raise that child. It is not selfish. It would be selfish if I didn't want my body to be ruined mm. by well, me Well, wait a minute. By your... You're only doing that because they exist, right? I'm asking what... It's to, my dream when right. I was a little girl to become right. a mom one oh, day. So there, that's my point. That is a selfish so, th that endeavor. If that's what we believe, but yeah. that's not what I believe. Right. I, I, I don't believe that's a selfish endeavor because I believe... But it's about what you want, of right? Time, I beginning that, that I was created as a woman and this is what a woman's body is capable of doing. And if my body is right. capable of doing it, then that is... Uh, my husband so and I join together. We are not supposed to be putting anything between us. Okay. If God feels... And it took me seven years to have a child. So I went through a whole lot of stuff. I would not necessarily call that selfish. Well, it is because it's what you wanted. It is. <laughs> yeah. But I, but I, was I also guarantee saying, you that yeah. my children, we, if yeah. they were right here with me... I'm not, I, I'm not saying that they're were. not happy. I'm not I'm saying... Well, but some people do end up unhappy, but I'm not saying you're there. I had a horrible childhood, yeah. but the, childhood, but that doesn't mean that the rest of my life But also, horrible. you mentioned something about what, because we're capable of doing something, then that's what we can or should do. But that's how God created us. Do, do you realize? God created right. us. But do you, right, <laughs> would you agree? Purpose. Would you agree that just because we're capable of something doesn't mean we should do it? No, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I yeah. agree with that. But I do believe that we were born for a purpose. And okay. th and there was a purpose. And it's God's purpose. It's mm -hmm. God's purpose for me and God's will for me if I am to have a child. Right. So you agree, though, that it's still you trying to fulfill your what you believe is your purpose is you your desire, right? Way. You could think so, of that but way they or could, I could think of it right. differently. And the question was the compound of both. Is it both unselfish and ethical and i i don't know that it About says ethical? right what i don't know like don't where know you would come unethical. up with what um, i don't know how it could be unethical well for the very fact that you're gambling with someone's life for your selfish desire <laughs> I, I i can't continue oh. i'm sorry okay thank I you though for stopping and yeah. i i am wow as well. You, you, you agree that a lot of children that are raised in Christian homes uh, end up not Christian? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I have absolutely my oldest son. Yeah. So like according evolution. to, I don't, I don't I know, totally according to many um, sects of Christianity uh, denominations, those people will end up in hell if they don't accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Maybe not yours. I don't know what your denomination is, but uh, it. But from a lot of people's perspective, yeah, those yeah. people will go to hell. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And I, so. And that's hardcore. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so you're saying let's just keep the world and stop populating the world, and so we'll just end the world at this population. Uh, I mean, yeah, if that, well, I would persuade people not to procreate. From a Christian perspective, that's one of the reasons not to mention the suffering that the child, or the person, I should say, because we're not children forever. In fact, we're only children for a small portion of our lives, most people anyway. Um, they are going to suffer. Leave, they are going to be in harm's way. Like that's true. And I, I feel like the... Uh, the need, the feeling that it is one's purpose to procreate, I feel is a bit childlike because it, it's sort of self-involved. why did God create me as a woman and you as a male and, and our anatomy to join together so perfectly? I don't know, why did and God why create... why did God create the, the ability for me to have a baby and it to come out of... Well, wait, God also space. created the ability for humans to do awful things to each other. 
And and I God, and I, did, God, God didn't choose for them to do awful things. Oh, he created the ability, but we're talking he about He never created the ability. He evil. did create There's the ability. There's evil out there and there is evil out there. Did, did God create everything? He did. You're right. Okay. There is evil out there sure. and that so is So God what created we, that. He did. However, if, if he did not create evil, then we would become puppets and do exactly as he has. And that's he much has. that's a and much he more now yeah. wants us to have a choice. Sure. It's our choice to choose him or choose good or choose evil. You know, the the fact that God is all knowing mm -hmm. means that God already knew knew what choice we were all gonna make. Okay. And that is kind of cruel to create a universe where you know so many beings are gonna suffer. In my opinion, uh, I think that it's silly to say that... Do you have any like, stats that tell you how many people are suffering in, um, I don't know, in the last 10 years? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Just fine. Cool. You, you have, have any questions? Right. Okay, you have the right for your opinion and everything. Yeah. But you want to stop having kids. Why? Well, I mean, first off, there's... Before I get into the ethical implications of bringing someone into existence, there's already so much life that's already here right now and in need. So if people are capable of being, you know, good parents and they want to have families, there's already so many children up for adoption, for example, and non-human animals that we can add to our family as well. So since they already exist and they have real interests, needs, feelings, and desires, I think they should come uh, before the unborn. And then um, about the ethics, well, we can't, we can't consent to coming into the world and push, forcing life into the world, creating life on someone else's behalf when it's not their okay, decision, that's we, a lot. Well, what if we say we got so many people in the world, let's take you out. Well, this is not about killing anyone. It's, uh, killing people is very different than not starting a life for someone, right? They're believing me. Okay. That seems like you can have a very negative outlook on life. Uh, like, well, just, just because I'm suffering is just a part of it. Well, just because I'm, animals suffer. Right, but just because I'm highlighting neg negative aspects about life, that doesn't mean I have a negative outlook on life. I think it's just being realistic. You know, I think it's negative to make pretend that the world's not as not full of as much suffering as it is, or to or to well, or even to ignore it. To so just like just try to enjoy yourself and not think about those things. I think that's a negative way to live. Um, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to think about all the suffering in the world 24/7. Like that wouldn't yeah, yeah. be doing anyone any good. So I don't, I don't. That's not something I do. But, yeah. but I am a very empathetic person. Is your I, empathy seems to be you're so empathetic that you would rather have someone not exist than be born and, and well, I have think, some suffering. Well, yeah, exa exactly, exactly, exactly. Because you're um, you're preventing harm and well, suffering. There's some joys them. in life too. So if that person yeah, but, doesn't be born. They're not going to experience, experience those joys. Those joys either. Exactly, but they only need to experience their joys because they were born. If someone's not born, say you, all the think about all the best things you've experienced in your life. If you were never born, you wouldn't know otherwise. I mean, the planet's been around for millions of years before you came onto it, and you weren't aware of the things you were potentially missing out on. So, so yeah, I. For example, you said you have three kids. Well, if you don't have a fourth kid, I mean, is that is that not fair to that that potential person who could have been your fourth kid who could have experienced, um, you know? In my mind, there is no, they don't exist. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. So back to your question. Just to worry about things that don't exist. Well, there is no point of, of worrying about things that don't exist. But the point is to keep things and not to to not to not impose existence onto them. Uh, it would be a little bit different if we could, if, if the beings who don't exist in this world yet, if they could get a picture of what this world entails for them and others, how they would potentially impact others, then they could deliberate about it, consider it, and then choose. But they don't have that option. So it, it quite, quite literally, people are forced into the world. See, something you've ever considered? <laughs> no, I mean just the idea of, of uh, you know, okay, having kids, yeah. of, of you know, no, my, trying to convince people to be a, my against son and appropriate. His wife, they don't want kids, so they probably don't. How do you feel about that? I'm glad. Yeah, you're glad. Uh, yeah. Some people shouldn't have kids. Right. Some people have too many. Should Should anybody like be forced into this world? Yeah. Uh, 
Who's forced? Well, we don't have a choice whether we come here or not. But don't you think most some people aren't glad they're here? Would, would you like a picture with the sign? Uh, sure. <laughs> now, you hold it. I'm okay. Just sit next I'll get out of the way. to hear your arguments yeah, against I this. Like five. Is that five kids? Yeah. So yeah. why should we stop having kids? Give me that. So like my opinion is that because I can't receive consent from them to be brought here and have life imposed on them yeah. and that there's, yeah. a no, there's a number of harms that I will inevitably that. occur. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. your parents didn't get hey, consent to have you. Right, and that doesn't here. mean that are they did a good thing. Oh, yeah. hey, are, are you glad, glad you're here? here? Hey, no, often I'm not. The best thing about you're this? Not? My four kids are so happy they're here. Well, I'm really glad. Who's not I, so, happy they're here? The whole no. thing is this is a compa this is a compassionate movement. No, you're not. It's not a compassionate movement. It's a selfish movement. Well, what's one unselfish? The world needs more people. Tell me something. What is kids. one unselfish reason to procreate? Unselfish reason, let me think about that. Unselfish yeah. reason to procreate. Yeah. Because unselfish. it betters the entire world How? to bring somebody here. Yeah. If we but stop is that something kids, you care about? If we stop yeah. having, yes. And you, so yeah. that's something you want, right? Yeah. Yes. So therefore it is selfish, right? But Which aren't you being selfish by not no, bringing No, because yes. I'm being I'm not being yes. inconsiderate. The whole point is is that you're saying it's okay to use a human as a means to an end, as a utility, for another Aren't generational we problem. To grow together? If like everyone listens to your sins, no one would be yeah. here right now. So they don't exist to be they don't ex oh, exist yeah, yet, so they're not you deprived want, of anything. Guys, Thanks, don't man. you want something? Don't you enjoy people that you meet? Aren't you a person that has brought been brought here? Well and just you're because doing, so, so, so you're, you're saying you're, that people yeah, should be you're saying that we should exploit the fact that other people want people here okay, let's say you weren't brought here right yeah if you weren't brought here you wouldn't be doing something meaningful that you think is meaningful mm -hmm. right so who would be doing that it? wouldn't matter to me no, because I wouldn't exist exactly yeah but my daughter is gonna yeah. be brought into this world yeah. that is gonna be doing something meaningful to her just like you're doing something meaningful to you sure but I would actually rather have not been brought here but we're glad really? we're here. Yeah. Like, so do you enjoy life yeah. at all? Uh, I can. There's times I yeah. can enjoy, but you know, so a lot of not, most of the time, what? I personally, I have, I have a lot of, um, you know, emotional and mental stuff going on. Yeah. Right. And that's a, and a lot of people do. And that's and, yeah. and that's the thing. I'm like, wow, there a lot of a lot people of could end up that's in that nature. situation. Yep. There's a lot so of like, I have this thing that happens, right? And I've oh. met other people. Oh, sorry. sorry, ma'am. I, sorry, excuse I, I've me. met other people that have this situation where they will be they'll be hating life so much that they want to die mm -hmm. but we're biologically driven to survive like we have a genetic uh, failsafe true. right that's yeah that's true. Ev how yeah, evolution that's works true. so we're actually like too scared to kill ourselves yeah. because we're programmed that way but and we it, also have a brain right? but what I'm saying is, is that that is almost that's pretty much like a torture chamber to put someone in that's how I feel a lot of time when it's happening where I'm like wow I really want to die but I'm also too scared to die and I hate the fact that I have to be put in this position I guess what I'm trying to say is so just like you're saying put yourself in a different perspective right yeah not everybody feels like that no I understand that and some people enjoy what we're yeah, doing. right but if they don't exist so I'm not trying to say anybody should end their life I'm saying that we shouldn't we shouldn't gamble enjoy, we shouldn't gamble with someone so else's what life people enjoy coming here. Yeah, yeah. so well if they, this is they don't interdimensional right, right? Yeah. we're enjoying coming here well this is we don't all know the that. matrix right we, we can't receive it's a matrix this is my point though we can't receive consent yeah we can't but receive you consent. can also choose to love it so i understand not necessarily so i don't sometimes, agree with that sometimes what, what you're saying to a point i understand there's several people out there that are having kids that shouldn't be having kids there's a lot of kids born every day probably thousands of kids every day that shouldn't be born like they're born into unhappy homes they're born for people who don't want children they get thrown into the foster system like i see some of the signs over there uh, and those kids i understand i understand where y'all are coming from on that but for a happily married couple that want to have kids, like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, they should adopt. 
Uh, from, it well, what if they want something from their own blood? Biological. Like, See, that's, I want that's something pure that has egoism. My... That's there's that that is like I want a brand new shiny toy. I don't want the with, used shi the used toy. No, I want something that, that from, without I want the that perspective. My blood. I, I, you, like I don't want the hand me down. I, I want I want I one that's brand new in mind. I don't, I don't want Stony Larusha. Stony Larusha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's Stony at? Planet Five. You don't enjoy life. Uh, most of the time, I'm not. I'm not having a great time. Really? I do enjoy it sometimes, but so, less often. Don't you think maybe you need to find a different perspective? It, it's hard because uh, it's hard to get myself in a place where I'm like where I'm not, well, you know, where I'm not, like, having a lot of the issues that I'm okay, having. Okay, so, so just, I'm talking to you, yeah, right? Yeah. Maybe isn't in a selfish point of view. I'm just asking you. Isn't yeah, so all it, of You were asking me about yeah. selfishness. So the thing is, these are all selfish things that we are striving for, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but my thing so is that I feel that the pro-natalist position is both selfish and inconsiderate because like but you've also never had a kid right? well i've had i've had non-human uh animals that are under my it's not the dude if you under my kid, care I, i'm just telling you my perspective on life changed dramatically i don't as doubt soon that it as changes I had a kid. because there's great have, things that come from it right. him and i if we wouldn't have had kids we never would have met each other. No, and that's... now we're great friends and we and we share a lot of similarities. See, like, and I'm glad that things, you experience good awesome. things, but I still don't think that it's worth like uh, gambling with someone's life for all the bad things that can happen and yeah. will happen. Yeah. You know, so, so here's the thing. I, the question I pose to everyone, because I agree, every every position in a way can call selfish, yeah. but it's is there a reason to create a child that is both unselfish and ethical that is the main point well so i mean it depends where uh we're at in the world there's certain places in the world where yeah we need to limit the amount of birth you like, also there's live certain places in the world that can't accommodate more kids coming in um i don't think him or i if we'd have been in those situations where we didn't feel like we could take care of that kid we would have had the kid i think we both had all of our children where we at a time in our life when we were able to take care of the kid and the child was able to grow up in an environment that they could thrive in and i think we have he has two amazing kids i have four amazing kids like i think our kids are grown up in an environment where we feed them every day they're happy our kids love life the only other our thing kid, we're here down here for a soccer tournament right now our daughters are playing together yeah. and they really enjoy life the only you know other i can I tell that say, you guys are like great dads the only other thing and i, have I say, appreciate that thank you yeah. just let me talk real quick the only other thing I have to say is you're blessed or grateful, whatever you want to call it, to live in the United States, correct? Oh yeah, very privileged. Yes. So, if you didn't live in the United States, and you lived in where, let's say Hezbollah, let's say Africa, where, wherever you want to call it, in those countries, that's all they have is to have kids. That's how they thrive. You they know, have like to have you, those next you, uh, kids for the next they generation. Don't have, well, they don't actually, have the to, Africa but, has listen, a real problem. I'm just saying, where like have, a lot of kids what I'm suffer saying is they there don't have because the of the, to stand on a street and say stop having kids. Just, that's so why I actually, saying, I that's why I actually with great so with with great power comes great responsibility. Correct. correct. Just like Uncle Ben said. But, uh, but they also don't have the privilege right. to be able to do what you're doing right now. No, I. that's why I'm I'm actually taking advantage of the privilege. Do it. I, I believe in the first amendment yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I, I love that you're doing that. That's great. And they're actually, um, believe it or not, I so I know, you, I know, uh, I know African antinatalist activists that that's, do it over that's there. That's fine. Yeah. Everybody's got their own yeah. niche. There are right? some places where, where, you will so get killed. Where do you feel like it's more important? I think it's important everywhere. I don't think. But any, where do you think more important? Well, it, no, I don't I don't, see, I don't I like know, that. You know, everyone can say, hey, it's the same importance, but. Where's more important? Is it here or there? It's, it's a, it's okay. a diff, that's a difficult I've question. I've got to go, sir. Hey. hey. Thank you very much for the hey, conversation. I Cheers. appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate hearing your point of view. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all yeah. yeah. have a great Mike, day. You might be in a documentary. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great one, okay? I'm parked. I need a drink. I appreciate it.